right now I'm joined by Kathy Harper and Dave Dooling. We're at the New Mexico Space History Museum. Thank you guys so much for talking with us today. It is absolutely our pleasure, Marty. We're delighted to have you. Welcome to New Mexico. Kathy, you were telling me that this is one of your favorite artifacts in the museum, but it looks kind of like a plain model rocket. Why is this so special? Marty, don't let looks fool you. This model rocket was actually handcrafted by Dr. Werner von Braun. As you well know, he was one of America's premier rocket scientists, but it wasn't until after World War II, but he, when he came over with the paperclip scientists, that he began working with our scientists developing America's space program. That had a very strong connection to this area too, correct? Absolutely, because after World War II, when the paperclip scientists came over to America... They were brought in through the East Coast. They actually stuck Von Braun on a train by himself. And his cover was that he was a businessman from Geneva and he wound up sitting next to an American who did business in Geneva and almost blew his cover. They were all illegal aliens at that oh, okay. time, so they took him across the border and then brought him back in. And that was when the Army really parked because they decided to walk away couldn't have stopped them. They actually were brought to White Sands Proving Ground to begin their tests on the V-2 rockets here. Now tell me briefly, who are the paperclip scientists? What, why is that a term I should know? Well, there were many scientists that were uh, working with Germany at the end of World War II, developing things like the V-2. And when the war was over, Russians and Americans basically divvy up the scientists. So the scientists that America wanted to bring, they put a paperclip on their folder and that marked them. From then on out, it was called Operation Paperclip and they were the paperclip scientists. Awesome. And this rocket is actually, gives us an idea of the scale of this rocket, right? Right, now this is an RL-10 engine and it is one of six that is in a cluster inside that Saturn one. So like the second stage, this is the engine that's there. That's right. Wow. 